Einstein used to say that the most incomprehensible thing about the universe is that it's comprehensible. It's an old riddle. What is there about the human mind that so resonates with the rest of the universe that we're able to understand anything about the workings of nature on the largest scale? The natural laws that fragmented and multiplied as the young universe expanded and cooled continue to operate today in the beating of our hearts as well as in the trajectories of the stars. As the Quran puts it, the universe is as close as the veins in our neck. My God, isn't this just absolutely beautiful? Guys, welcome back to somewhat of another mod spotlight. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different compared to my previous mod spotlights because this is the second, this is the, the first mod that I have reviewed for a second time. Those of you who are watching the channel back in June, July-ish sort of time will remember that I covered the Scatterer mod when it was in its first early baby steps of development. Well, since then it has come a long way, a lot of bugs have been fixed, and while it still has a long way to go, and with this latest release it has definitely shown us just how awesome KSP can look if a few small details are added. So first of all you can see obviously here that the Scatterer mod just, um, it scatters the light from the sun here and just creates this awesome atmospheric effect here um, as uh, this sort of like blue haze as we go up through the atmosphere and it gradually gets thinner uh, the higher up we go which makes it look more uh, realistic overall. And with this latest release of Scatterer, it has also uh, changed the texture of the water on Kerbin so that not only do we actually get waves now, they don't affect the craft but we get uh, aesthetic waves, but we also get uh, reflections from the sun um, off of the waves, which you will see in, uh, in butter moments when we hit re-entry. First of all though, I did want to just give you a quick look from Orbit. The link to the mod will be in the description down below, the link to the forum page. And uh, you can see here, Kerbin just looks beautiful from Orbit with this, uh, with this mod on. One of the things I have found though with this mod is that it's very performance intensive. As with all graphics mods for KSP, um, it really does take it out on uh, on your PC. Um, I know that if I have um, environmental visual enhancements and this running at the same time, the clouds coupled with the actual uh, the actual atmospheric haze here can sort of lag my uh, game down to something like below below 10 FPS. We get FPS into uh, into single figures, which isn't the best. It's rather terrible actually. It's uh, more like playing a slideshow more than anything else, which uh, is definitely unfortunate, but for this graphical fidelity, if you have the machine that can uh, that can run it, then I 100% recommend it. And it just makes sunsets look so much cooler, as you can see here. And it also scatters the light through just a little bit on the atmosphere, as you saw as we were coming around the night side there. And it just means we get cool-ass screenshots like this. I mean, wow. I, I'm simply stunned at the beauty of all of this. Like I say, though, it does sort of run your computer down pretty terribly if you sort of have a medium to low end sort of PC like I do. It does kind of uh, does kind of lag the game out. Um, I think throughout the whole of this I think I got a maximum of about 60 FPS but that was in orbit around this sort of time when I wasn't looking at the planet at all. I was looking directly at the sun. When I was actually on the planet and like in atmosphere I think I was getting in excess of about maybe 5 to 10 frames per second absolute maximum which isn't acceptable on my front, but hopefully when I get my beefier computer at some point next year, um, I should be able to run Scatterer and uh, multiple other mods, no problem. And just look at this sunset here, um, coming down, uh, reflecting off of Kerbin's atmosphere as uh, as it goes down and sinks behind. It looks just amazing. I'm lost for words. It's it's so cool the way that the lights is like scattered in the atmosphere and uh, as well as various other like small tweaks. It's just amazing. One tip I do have for this mod is if you uh, there is an options menu. I can't remember the function key you have to press in order in order to uh, in order to uh, get it up, but it does you can tweak the amount of haze that it actually has to sort of improve performance versus uh, versus actual graphical fidelity. Um, which is nice, um, however I wish it was a little bit more sort of uh, present, I wish it was actually in the toolbar at the top uh, the top right hand corner rather than uh, 
uh, consigned to uh, a key which you might not know where it is because well I don't know where it is at all but you can see here we're coming back down now I'll give you a, it will give us a chance to show off the new water which is the main thing I wanted to show off in this video really um, because the new water is sort of like the cream of the crop in terms of all these new beautification mod things that Scatterer has added in with its latest update it just looks gorgeous and I do want to use this um, this opportunity right now to uh, give a massive shout out to the SW Dennis. Um, he is a German KSP YouTuber who did a video of this when I saw it and I just thought this mod looked incredible. Um, now it has all the water textures and stuff like that and so I thought I'd do a video on it to sort of show it off. Um, I will leave a link to SW Dennis's um, video in the description down below because he has a much beefier rig than me and um, he'll be able to show you uh, what the water looks like in beautiful 60 fps fidelity and it it does look just it is a sight to behold for the reading time though this is my uh, this is my footage at four times regular speed you can see here we're coming down through re-entry it's just kind of a, a long-winded re-entry uh, by capsule standards here I think it was just because we were slightly lower than I usually do my capsule re-entries um, in and so uh, as a result it was a bit more drawn out but you can see here we're starting to come down you can start to make out just about if YouTube hasn't ruined the qual quality of these uh, of the uh, rendering here um, the small little waves in the top of the water that's purely a texture like I say the waves don't physically move your craft or anything they're purely aesthetic but they do just look awesome you can see also that there are still a few bugs to iron out you can see there's pixelation off on the horizon there I think that's an issue to do with texturing but you can see here that awesome looking water I mean that water just looks incredible it looks realistic I mean I that is the best looking that's the best I've seen KSP looking. I mean, minus some clouds, which I did try to get in for this video, but unfortunately I didn't have time to. This is the best I've seen KSP look. Look at the beautifulness of the water and the way the light is actually just glinting off of it in such a realistic manner. And uh, it's so inviting that Jeb, Bill and Bob have decided to go and uh, take a swim and watch some sunrises and sunsets uh, from the water while they wait to be recovered. And I think that's a rather fitting end for this very, very quick video. And I'm sorry this video was very, very quick, guys. I just thought that this vid was an absolutely awesome mod to let you watch. And probably the best thing about this mod, aside from the water, is the sunrises. Look at that. And with that, guys, I'm going to leave you there. My name is Bradders. Remember to like and subscribe for more. Remember to go check out the SW Dennis's channel, which I'll link in the description down below. And as always, peace out.